Let's come back to marketing because in terms of communications, this means that again we come to our main concept, trust. All these scandals huh, and problems are related to betrayal because firms betrayed customers. And as a affair uh, when the government and US government scanned all email accounts, Gmail accounts, Yahoo accounts in order to find terrorists. Uh, this is actually a privacy violation and does not contribute. The Cambridge Analytica affair of Facebook, where the data of Facebook as was manipulated to manipulate the ele elections in the US. And there are probably a lot of things we don't know which happened on Facebook. That's just recently uh, Facebook worked together with a German university, paying a lot of money. It's a technical university of Munich, sponsoring research. But the problem is, if they sponsor research, what do they expect from it? Do they expect positive results enhance the brand image or do they expect uh, really free research? The problem is when you have strong lobbies, they take over the control of normally independent research. Uh, Munich University did a study where Facebook controlled or manipulated the content for Facebook users in order to see the impact of positive posts on the mood of the lectures and of negative posts on the mood of uh, uh, readers. Actually, they found really that uh, if you read only negative posts, uh, your mood also becomes depressed. Uh, on the other hand, if you read only positive posts, your mood becomes positive. Uh, but we are not too interested today in this result. What is interesting is that they uh, deliberately manipulated posts of Facebook. And that's ethical, not so good. So the problem is that Cambridge Analytica and a lot of things we probably don't know. If we don't pay attention to the ethical clean, then consumer trust is eroded. Right. The result is what? That customers don't give information anymore. Yeah, they try to create fake accounts in order not to give the, the, the real information. They make advertising blocks. They avoid to give too much information, which is normal, because we, if we don't trust, we don't give this information. But on the other hand, firms need this information to, de to do customer relationship management. The result would be they have less information and cannot do CRM. Long term firms will pay eh? because if customers don't trust, they don't give this information. That is why of all the political, the macro level, we need laws. Laws really clarify what data can be collected and be used. So we, use, we need this on the worldwide level. This is known under privacy personalization paradox huh? because actually we want personalized products. It's clearly a competitive advantage for a brand if the brand can offer us personalized products. On the other hand, we don't want to give this, this data. That is why it is important to increase trust into technologies and data usage and data collection issues. And is, it is important to, to create trust into the brand. Without this trust, customers will reduce the information flow uh, towards the phone. And this has been shown a lot of times in academia. There are a lot of studies that show that trust into the brand, trust into the data usage and collection uh, process has to be increased to get the data and to use the data and to do personalization. Because we all want personalization. But again, it's a question of again, perceived value. What do we consider more important? Personalization benefits or the psychological cost? If the psychological cost becomes too, too heavy, too important, then we don't share the information anymore, even if we want personalization. It's all about this balance between benefits and costs. Actually, the benefits of personalization are very low because personalization approaches today 
They are really bad. The future will be tech on plus And we will have the technology to do that. Hmm. Data mining, we need data. Right? So it's a petrol of data mining. Yeah? So this data is important. And we, firms can only get it if they decrease the psychological cost to, uh, to give this data. And that is why trust is very important. There are a lot of studies sh that sh shows that. There's also one study that we show clearly this link between privacy concerns, huh, which has actually a negative impact on willingness uh, disclosure of information for personalization. Or to increase disclosure willingness uh, for personalization, we have to increase trust because privacy concerns decrease trust, whereas trust increase uh, disclosure willingness of, for personalization. We have to increase happiness and with the internet, uh, by decreasing privacy concerns. So we have to decrease risk beliefs. That is, beliefs that the data is not used adequately for the advantage of the customer. And so you see, again, the critical concepts are trust, well-being or happiness. And happiness is the effective uh, component of well-being. So we have to increase effective well-being, we have to increase trust, and we have to decrease risk beliefs, and so psychological cost. And then we will increase the willingness for disclosure of personal information, which is crucial for data mining.